We are, are not professionals. <laughs> we don't do this for a living. We have no idea, or we had no idea. We know what we did. We're fine now. now. We don't well, even do this often. Yeah, we <laughs> are not natives to dyeing your hair. We kind of winged it, but it worked. So if you are nervous about ombreing your hair, if you have no idea what you're doing, give this video a watch. See if you feel comfortable doing, but if you are not comfortable, go get your hair done. Go to a salon. Do not do it yourself. We don't want anybody coming back and commenting on this video saying, You ruined my life! Yeah, I have orange hair! It's all your fault! We warned you. <laughs> You've been warned. Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. Today we have for you another Work It Wednesday. Today we're going to talk about how to DIY ombre your hair. Um, if you didn't notice, a couple, maybe a couple months ago, we decided to randomly ombre our hair. Oh. She recently <laughs> changed her hair, mine will soon be changing as well, but for right now I still have the ombre. And we had a request recently for somebody who wanted us to say how we ombre our hair and just kind of maybe do a little bit of a DIY. Uh, this isn't going to be so much of a demo. I know a lot of people look for demos when they're doing it. We looked for demos when we were doing it and those are usually the most helpful, but it's going to be more of like a talk through yeah. kind of style. It's so. good. Trust it. You know, we had the assistant at Sally's kind of talk us through it and we were able to do it just fine. Yeah, we so, didn't have any issues. Yeah. So we're going to show you what we had to buy. Um, the first thing, like I said, is we went to Sally's Beauty Supply Store. And if you have dark hair like ours, you're going to need bleach. Sorry, hate to break it to you. Yeah, we were super scared, or at least I was. Yeah. She was, like, really brave. But the girl at Sally's recommended that we use the L'Oreal High Performance Quick Blue Extra Strength. So that mm -hmm. is what we have here, just a giant tub. tub. Yeah. And then you're going to need 40 volume cream. Developer. Oh, I'm sorry, developer. <laughs> um, they have their own brand there called mm -hmm. Salon Care. So if, you know, we went generic. Yeah, all the stuff that we pretty much used, aside from the bleach, was all, for the most part, generic. Yeah. I, mean, I think even the toner that we used was generic. Yeah, so don't worry. Don't be afraid to go generic. You're going to need a couple of these thingies. Mixing bowls. And then a couple of these thingies. I don't know what those are called. The hairbrush things. Hairbrush things. We're no beauty school. We didn't even go to beauty school. But that should make you feel confident because if we could figure it yeah. out, you could figure it out. And then this thing, this it's is a cute. little whisk. It's adorable. It's so cute. Okay, so in addition to that, some things that we don't have in front of us are a second uh, developer in 20? 20, 20 volume. volume, yeah. And then the actual toner. We used Ash Blonde. For yeah, ours. the color that we used was Ash Blonde. We don't remember the brand, but literally all we did was go and go into Sally's, ask a sales associate, say, we want to ombre our hair, what do we need? And yeah. she gave us everything. Mm -hmm. And she even walked us through it step by step. I wish I remember her name. I know, she was, she was super helpful. She was super helpful. She was just awesome. We love her. She was super awesome. Yeah. So you're going to need to pick your developer color that you want. And then you're also going to need purple shampoo. Don't be afraid, it literally looks like purple dye. Yeah, yeah, it's it looks exactly like the toner. It's just really good because it helps take the orange out of your hair. It really helped lighten my hair up afterwards. I really wasn't comfortable with my hair after we first ombre it, and we ombre twice, and I still wasn't completely comfortable with it, but the purple shampoo works wonders. You would not believe how great my hair looked after I used the purple shampoo. I was really happy with it. So you definitely need that. Don't mm -hmm. forget that. Mm -hmm. So that's everything you need. Now we're going to kind of walk you through the steps. So the first step is you have to bleach your hair. You're going to get one of these. Add equal parts bleach to equal parts developer. The so. 40 volume. Mm -hmm. So you're going to get the 40 volume and your bleach and you're going to mix equal parts. Stir it up with your little whisk thing. And then um, we just used old shirts. Yeah, we just threw on some really old shirts and honestly I was like I said, super intimidated by the bleach, so I went really light, and I just put a light layer, and I tried to make it very even and perfect, and don't do that. <laughs> Me, on the other hand, I was like, scoop and splat, yeah. scoop and splat. Seriously, she put so much bleach on her hair. I was like, I didn't tell you this, but I was like, that's not going to look very good. 
<laughs> and I didn't want to say anything. Thanks. But honestly, her hair came out better than mine. When we were done, I was like, I want your hair because it looked so much better. So don't be afraid of the bleach. Just make sure, you know, you get it where you want it and put enough. Mm -hmm. Don't be like me and just put like a little bit, you know? The other tip that I recommend is we wanted kind of a gradient effect. Mm -hmm. So instead of just putting all the bleach, you know, like let's say right here, what we pretty much did was put the bleach on our tips where we wanted it the lightest and we let that sit for like 10, 15 minutes. And then we added more bleach higher and let that sit for another 20 to 30 minutes so a total of about 40 minutes mm -hmm. that way the tips have been sitting there for like the full 40 minutes and then the upper part has only been sitting there for 20 or 25 minutes mm -hmm. so that way you kind of have like a gradient effect like a really blonde not so blonde and it just kind of yeah flows. it just it, it yeah. oh oops sorry hello so we were just going for like a really kind of natural we didn't want it like BAM Bleach. Yes, we weren't a fan yeah, of that. None of that. So one of the things that we did do to kind of avoid that, we wore gloves and we just, when we were finished applying it, we made sure to go like this, get bleach on your fingers and go like this through the hair so that that way you don't have that blunt yeah, line. Yeah, you have like little strands that you may have touched um, that are just a little bit lighter. The other thing I recommend, a big tip that helped me a lot was move quickly. You don't want to spend a lot of time on this side and then move to this side because then you have this side sitting there for a long time and then this mm -hmm. side not sitting there for a long time and you have uneven levels of bleach. So, you know, get it on there, that's why I did globs and then let that sit, get it on there. You don't want a lot of difference in the time between mm -hmm. one section and the other, so. Yeah, and then another thing that helped in addition to going like this with your fingers is if you want to take the brush, if you're using the brush to put the bleach on, instead of holding the brush like this, you want to hold it like this on its side and just, just kind of, I'll just go like this. You just kind of want to go like this, like different angles, just like paint it on your hair. Instead of going like this, because that's how you're going to get that line, go like that. The next phase is rinse it, obviously. Hello. Rinse that crap out. Rinse your bleach out. Towel dry your hair so it's still a little damp but not completely soaked or anything like that. Then you want to get your 20 volume mm -hmm. and your toner. Mix it together. Mm -hmm. That you're going to do equal parts as well. So stick that in this again. Stir it up. It's going to turn purple. Just put it on. That oh, one, you want it like soup, and we do recommend mm -hmm. using foil. Use the aluminum foil, you're gonna want to try and section your hair. We didn't section section our hair, we kind of just like grab parts and we'll just slap it on there. For the developer. And then wrap it, mm -hmm. yeah, wrap it in the foil and then just leave it. We did use the blow dryer to kind of accelerate the process, so that may be something that you want to consider. But yeah, seriously, glob the toner on there, mm -hmm. just all over it, like soup. And then you want to let that sit for about 25-ish minutes, I would mm -hmm. say. Rinse that out as well. Go ahead and shampoo with your purple shampoo just to get that process going. And because, for me, it was the first time dyeing my hair, so my hair was just like, whoa, this is like straw. We did kind of an olive oil soak afterwards yeah. to kind of bring some moisture back into mm -hmm. our hair. So I definitely recommend that if you're like me. And I was like, oh no, my hair. <laughs> So we soaked that. We looked like crazy ladies with trash bags on our heads. Yeah. But it turned out well. It worked. Our hair yeah. was soft after it wasn't so brittle. It took a little while for our hair to recover, especially since we did it twice within a 24 hour time span. You're probably not supposed to do that. Again, no, it's 48 hours. Oh, it's not. Hours. We are not anywhere near professionals. Not professional. If you are not comfortable ombreing your hair, go get it done. Go get it done. Do not do it. Like, just. I do not recommend using the furry box thing if you have dark hair. The yeah. wild ombre. If you have dark hair, I don't feel like you're going to get the result that you're looking for. At least not if you're going for blonde. If you're going for it to kind of turn into that reddish tone brown, brown then that's totally fine. Yeah. If you wanted blonde, we wanted blonde. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe not that one. No. I would recommend doing it this way. And it was relatively inexpensive. For both of us to do our hair was about $40, mm -hmm. I believe. And so it's 20 bucks each going with a friend. 
Mm -hmm. You know, um, that's about a little bit more expensive than the box, but I feel like you're getting a lot better product. If you guys feel like you didn't get the results you wanted within the first time you did your hair, like we said, we did ours twice. So try it again and same process, do the, everything the same, and you should have better results. And just keep using the purple shampoo. I think that that's the most... If you're concerned that it looks too orangey. Yeah, I think that's the most important tip we can give mm -hmm. is purple shampoo and it doesn't have to be the Clairol one mm -hmm. you can totally use the generic seriously we got the big old bottle of the generic brand purple shampoo it was literally called generic brand generic I think. Yeah. yeah it's just what brand is that generic you can compare it to the Clairol shimmer lights you mm -hmm. don't need the name brand honestly so hopefully this tutorial helped you guys out we realized that it's probably more helpful to see pictures and video of us doing it to ourselves Sorry. We'll go ahead and write the instructions that we talked about in the description box below. We'll include all the products that we used as well. Um, we really hope that this helps you out. We'd love to see pictures or video responses of you guys showing us your hair that you have ombre And feel free to leave a comment down below if you tried it. And like and subscribe if you found it helpful. And we'll be sure to see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. We're going to show you how you can celebrate a birthday, an anniversary, something like that from far away. This tat blah, blah, blah. Why? Every time. I know. Sorry. <laughs> you use the right blah, 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 blah. I'm sorry, but I'm no Haley Williams. I can't pull off the one. <laughs> okay. See what I'm doing? Yeah. Is this doing anything for you? Yeah. Can you feel it? <laughs> California.